Welcome to the King County International Airport. I'm Captain John Youngblood with the Sheriff's Office and I'm the supervisor of the Air Aircraft Rescue and Firefighting Unit. Uh, it's a little bit different for the Aircraft Fi Rescue Firefighting Unit, also known as ARF. We are all deputies in the King County Sheriff's Office, but we also become firefighters and emergency medical technicians. It's uh, completely different for the King County, but also we're very one of the few units that does that in the whole state. So if you call 911 in King, at the King County International Airport, you'll get one of our team there to help you no matter what you call for. Um, so I've been here for 10 plus years at the ARF unit, and in this time I've seen a lot of neat stuff. But one of the coolest things I've seen is the truck behind you now. It's uh, one of a kind, or it's the first of its kind in the nation, delivered to the King County Inter International Airport, and we're very happy to have that. It's big, it's 3,000 gallons. Uh, it's got a 50-foot turret on the top that can reach uh, all kinds of places for aircraft rescue and firefighting. And most of all, and best of all about this truck is it's electric. What that does for us is it makes a lot, it's a fast response, it's quiet, but the big thing is for firefighters is the carcinogens and diesel fuel are very hazardous. And so when we move in and out of the station, that diesel doesn't exist with that truck. And I'm very, very glad to see that we can help increase the safety and health of our firefighters by keeping the station more clean. Um, let's see. I said no carbon emissions on this truck is, is a big thing. Uh, this new truck is better for the deputies, it's better for the future of the airport, and it's better for the environment. And I'd like to introduce Executive Constantine, who is a big proponent in all those areas as well. Thank you. Thank you, Captain. Uh, good morning, and thanks to all of you for joining us here today. Uh, at King County, advancing a more sustainable, resilient future is a big part of our vision. That's why we created our strategic climate action plan to confront both the causes and the impacts of climate change. Uh, our commitment was and is to listen to experts, to base our decisions on science, to embrace innovation and to forge strong partnerships in pursuit of our goals uh, to reduce impacts and protect people and the planet. Now, from uh, adopting new generations of technology that reduce emissions to preparing workers for careers in green energy and technology, uh, to creating a climate justice framework, we've broken new ground uh, and we've surpassed our goals. But even as we celebrate progress, we acknowledge that the toughest work is still to come. Climate change affects everyone, but communities, uh, particularly communities like those here in the Duwamish Valley, uh, shoulder an unequal burden. Historic disinvestment uh, and industrial development have left neighborhoods, uh, not just in the immediate vicinity, but in South King County with uh, less tree canopy, less shading, as well as fewer resources to help residents uh, uh, deal with the impacts of a warming planet. And at the same time, areas surrounding uh, airports in particular uh, bear the brunt of uh, pollution from aviation. Today is one step in the broader fight to reduce those impacts, reduce that footprint by cutting the ambient air pollution, as well as the global uh, climate impacting carbon emissions uh, here from Boeing Field. This new fire engine, this new fire truck, produces fewer particulate emissions than regular fire trucks, helping reduce air pollution. As Chief Youngblood said, that is good for our, um, our first responders. It's good for the surrounding communities as well. Uh, as part of the 2020 Climate Action Plan, King County staff worked with industry and community partners to form a task force focused on greenhouse gas emissions and aviation-induced warming and its impacts on airport communities. Tackling airport-associated emissions is an enormous challenge and a complex challenge, especially at the local level. Our efforts have been constrained by our limited regulatory authority, but also by the technology that is currently available. Until now, 
there have been few alternatives to the fuel intensive vehicles available for airport use. But despite those challenges, we are taking action to spur innovation and find new solutions to prioritize uh, climate and air quality improvements. And one of the steps we're taking is right here behind me. This Stryker Volterra is the first of a new generation of airport firefighting vehicles. It uses hybrid uh, electric technology that can reduce both greenhouse gas emissions and particulate emissions, that ambient air pollution I talked about, compared to traditional diesel-only trucks. It combines the standard firefighting tools with an advanced electric transmission that allows for zero emission operation. And airport firefighters will be able to respond to emergencies uh, every bit as quickly as they were able to do with the old all-diesel models. With the addition of this new Stryker Volterra, we can finally retire our oldest diesel fire truck. And this spring, we will finish an update of that strategic climate action plan that I talked about. The plan will guide our efforts over the course of the next five years and beyond. We will continue to be innovators uh, uh, or to collaborate with innovators like the Oshkosh Airport Products Company uh, to implement the latest carbon reducing technology and will continue to work for climate action in partnership with cities and residents and frontline communities, including through our King County Cities climate collaboration. And uh, you know, we'll continue as well to identify and implement strategies and technologies, uh, broad, large strategies, and also small, targeted, but necessary technologies and strategies to reduce emissions. We're excited to be among the first airports in the country to have one of these really snazzy vehicles, the Stryker Volterra, and we look forward to many years of dependable service. Thank you to Oshkosh Air airport products, Pierce Manufacturing, Hughes Fire Equipment, uh, and to everyone who has helped make today possible for partnering with us on this groundbreaking hybrid electric vehicle. Thanks so much. Who's next? Thank you, Executive Council. Next will be my boss, Sheriff Patty Coltendel. Thank you, Chief Youngblood. Good morning. I am so excited to be here today to help introduce our new Stryker Volterra. What a cool name and what a fantastic addition to the team. We have a lot of great specialty units in the Sheriff's Office that do a lot of exceptional things, much of them under the radar. The ARF unit in particular flies under the radar much of the time. But they do work, the work they do is so important, both to the Sheriff's Office and the community. A few words about ARF. ARF was born about 25 years ago, when the Sheriff's Office and the County Department of Transportation forged a partnership to provide both policing and firefighting services to the airport. The responsibilities of this unit are substantial and significant. They include aircraft rescue, airport emergency response, hazardous fuel spills, and structure fires, just to name a few. That's why the proper tools are so vital. Everything they do requires specialized equipment, both for the public safety and for the safety of the team. The oldest truck in the fleet is more than 30 years old and has reached its end of its service life. The commitment to electrifying the vehicle fleet is where the Stryker Volterra comes in. This is a perfect opportunity to replace this old truck with this very cool new truck while making good on the county's commitment to help combat climate change. And as Captain Youngblood said, Always at the forefront of our mission is keeping our deputies safe and out of harm's way as much as possible. Any fire truck that helps keep them safe 
from potentially toxic diesel fumes is the fire truck we want in our fleet. The ARF unit is an essential part of the mission of public safety for King County. Thanks to the support and hard work and vision of our many partners here today, their essential work can continue in a way that benefits the team, the environment, and the people we serve. Thank you. All right, thank you, Sheriff. And now my second box, boss, King County Air, oh wait, my, my mistake. We are going with uh, Brian Snodgrass, the Oshkosh representative for the region. Uh, thank you, Brian. Good morning. Uh, thank you, Chief Youngblood. It is our pleasure to be here today to support King County International Airport and Boeing Field as they unveil their Stryker Volterra electric vehicle. On behalf of our local dealer, Hughes Fire Equipment, Oshkosh Airport Products, and our parent company, Oshkosh Corporation, I want to express our pride in this accomplishment. For those that may not know it, Oshkosh Corporation has been on the forefront of electric vehicle techni technology for nearly 30 years. Con continuously developing sustainable solutions for the fire and emergency industry. The Stryker Volterra electric R vehicle was introduced in June of 2021 and since then has garnered worldwide attention with orders placed by leading airports across North America, Europe, Asia, and Australia. This vehicle was designed not only to meet today's sustainability goals, but to exceed the evolving regulatory regu requirements for low emissions airport op and airport operations. King County International Airport is making history as the first airport in the world to place this vehicle into service, further demonstrating the demand for the next generation ARF solutions. The addition of the Stryker Volterra reinforces the airport's commitment to both operational excellence and climate action. Ensuring the emergency response remains of the highest standard and without compromising our planet's future. This is a zero emissions electric ARF vehicle that delivers the same high performance capabilities as a diesel counterpart with, while significantly reducing the environmental impact. It accelerates 28% faster, offers regenerative braking, reduces firefighter exposure to harmful emissions, and operates quieter, improving communication on the scene. And with up to 75% of the fuel savings and lower maintenance needs, it's a cost effective as well as innovative. To the leadership, the firefighters, and the entire team of King County International Airport, congratulations on this historic achievement. Your vision and commitment in shaping the future of the airport firefighting, inspiring airports across the world to embrace smarter, cleaner, and more efficient solutions. Together, we are redefining what is possible for airport emergency response, and we're going to do it sustainably, with the responsibility and the safety of our communities at heart. Thank you for allowing Oshkosh Airport Products and Oshkosh Corporation to be a part of this day. Thank you, Brian. Now I will introduce my second boss, Director of the King County International Airport, John Parrott. Thank you, Kevin. Uh, hello, I'm uh, John Parrott, uh, Director of the King County Airport, and I'm, I'm certainly so proud of leading our team of professionals that is gonna make this a world-class airport by 2030. You've, you've already ho ho heard uh, a bunch of people talk about the capabilities of, of this, air, uh, this vehicle. So I'm, I'm not gonna tell you that. Uh, what I am gonna tell you is, is a little bit about how this fits into uh, the total uh, th uh, package at the airport, what we do. Uh, as he mentioned, uh, Executive Constantine has made climate action and reducing carbon emissions one of his top priorities. We are a region that takes pride in being a global leader in aviation, an industry that provides count thousands of well-paying jobs uh, to, our redis, redis, to our residents and contributes tens of millions of dollars to our economy. But what we can also take pride in is being a leader where it comes to environmental sustainability and reducing greenhouse gas emissions. One way we're doing that is by getting this striker. We have a, a long list of first here. 
uh, at King County. In uh, 2001, we were the first general aviation airport in Washington to join the ACAP, the Airport Carbon Accreditation Program. Since then, we've graduated to level two of the program, demonstrating effective carbon management and evidence of reduced emission. This year, we're working on level three, and we hope to get that by the end of the year. We're also the first airport in the U.S. to begin the IATA Environmental Assessment Program, an international certification program that helps airports and other uh, industries to move toward greater environmental sustainability. We were the first airport in the country to deploy a battery electric sweeper that we now use to uh, clean the debris and uh, snow from our runways. Uh, and last year, we had an event here at one of our fixed-based operators uh, showcasing uh, a, a generation of aircraft power um, and w we have a fuel truck uh, that's now a little, little bit of a dichotomy. Uh, fuel truck for gas that's electric powered. We're also working to convert our electric fleet, uh, our, our operations fleet into EVs and we have several EVs chargers at our buildings. In addition to our efforts to reduce and track greenhouse emission, we've installed monitors that give live reports of air, uh, air quality to the surrounding neighborhood. And these sensors uh, are on all the time. You may notice that we have a, a few construction projects either underway or at the airfield. Um, since 2016, we've diverted nearly 2.7 million tons of waste from uh, landfills. And that's from our capital pro program. That's about 15 fully loaded max, max uh, eight aircraft. Uh, you see an example of them outside. So that's um, one of the things we, we do. Our Vision 2045 pro program uh, airport plan is helping us evolve and adapt to meet the region's needs for the next 20 years with an eye toward finding and implementing technologies to be sustainable. We're using input from the community and we're, we're sur surrounding, um, we're really trying to reach out to the community and get their ideas uh, because we don't have all the ideas. Uh, a key component is, is driving solutions to this carbon ne neutral vehicle. As we close out today, I program, I want to uh, thank King County and let you know that in nine, excuse me, 2020, seven, no, 28, this airport will celebrate its 100th birthday, okay? And, and we'll, we'll, we'll find something to, to do that um, along, along those lines. Um, we're proud to be a part of the community. We're proud to make purchases like this Striker Rotero to keep our operation clean. And we have a stake in, in keeping community uh, and keeping King County a vibrant and, and beautiful place to live for the next hundred years and beyond. Thank you for coming out today. Okay, without further ado, we're going to do a countdown and show you the truck. There'll be a opportunity for photographs afterwards and we'll be doing a demonstration outside of the truck's capabilities with water. So let's start the countdown. Where are we starting with? What's that? What number? Oh, start with five. All right. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. And there you go. It's running. That is an operation right here. All right. Thank you all.